Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Final Fantasy X-2. So we've just finished up everything in Besaid Island and we are about to blitz and finish chapter one. We've managed to get all of our girls fully done in White Mage. We're level 34, the level cap is 99. Like, let's finish chapter one. We're already way, way over leveled. <laughs> the Zanakin Runes is quote unquote easy. One star easy. That's like totally crazy, you know? And just before we go anywhere, this is the point of no return, kind of. So your save file should say 22%. But just keep a save handy in case you have to go back and maybe do something, rewatch the series, whatever the case may be. But if you've been following me, you should have 22%. So here is a little inconsistency I've noticed. If you rewatch the scene, it says that nobody travels the mountain. Of Gagazet anymore. Then how did all these tourists get here? Did they have an airship? Like how are they here? What the heck? The only way to get to Zanakind is through Mount Gagazet. And Yuna had said nobody really comes this way anymore. Blah blah blah. But anyway, four percentage points we need to go up and talk to this boyo. You've changed so much I hardly recognize you. You're still in that raggedy ass kimono, the same one you wore when you were it's betraying me and trying to kill me. I'm honored that you Yuna, where is that Jude? How is it good to see him again? He tried to literally off you in Bavel. Ugh, girl. Don't look at me. I guide people through Xanarkind, once the most sacred of places. People come from all over Spira, Sphere Hunters too. So Sid decided to make Zanarkand. He decided to make Zanarkand a tourist attraction. I know, but still, I never wanted anyone else to stand there. You know? Tedis. Forget. If you say so. Ah, I must be getting to work now. Please, take care, you know. Like, I suppose, like, to be honest, I don't get Sid's rationale. I don't get the, like, want to see this place. Like, this is literally a devastated war zone from, like, an ancient, ancient war. Like, the ruins of which had sent, like, tons of summoners on perilous journeys. Many of whom died even trying to get here. And then... Those that did get here sacrificed themselves in a meaningless ritual to propagate a religion that caused such damage to the culture as a whole. But as a nice easter egg, there is the old airship that we flew in. Super cute. How everyone fit inside that thing is a bit of a wonder. Yeah, earlier in the chapter, Maroda had said that his little brother, Passe, had become a sphere hunter. Here they are now, and there's just a bunch of kids roaming around collecting treasures, I guess. But also, um, how are they fighting off fiends? How are they doing any of this? Is he just like a legit Omega level black mage with just ultimate spells for days? Like, who knows? <clears throat> And what's interesting for 100% completion is that you have to, you basically have to tell, like you have to respond that you know everybody, which is interesting. 
And this is Taro. Like, I don't have anything too bad about the kids and the guardians because. But, like, I can't understand how. Yun is so chill with Asaru right now. Doesn't make sense. But we just love the LeBlanc goon just standing off in the upper, upper left hand corner. Finding the treasure. Uh huh. That's right. Shh. We paid fifteen whole gil for that. Come on, let's go. Oh my God! They're even doing treasure hunts where you pay microtransactions to get ahead in the game, and oh God, this is so gross. I don't like it at all. And so onward we run. This is basically just cutscene central. We don't really need to have any of the encounters on, in fairness. But come in, come in. Do you read me? Yeah. Like we have all of our spheres maxed. Oh, We've hey, all you know it's grand. That clue? It's mine, right? Nah, it's just that I heard some kids saying it was key. <laughs> yeah, I figured it was mine. Over and out. The clues are key and mine. What? The Gullwings? Key mine? We won't let you off so easily this time. Leave it to me. So here we have our girls, Pain as Gunner, Riku as Gun Mage, and Yuna as Songstress. We like love that for her. And Trigger Happy is great, except for when you one hit everything. They don't live as long enough for you to like multi-target. And now that we've inflicted max evasion, I'm pretty sure we're able to like dodge bullets right now. But yeah, I should have done that from the beginning. Pain has like an AoE attack on enemies thing, so just hit them all. <clears throat> but like I actually love how between 10 and 10 too, like the different music and stuff really just gives all these repeated areas such different vibes. Like we remember walking through here having the like premonitions or like the, the apparitions from the past. Seeing like Jack and Oren and Braska just running through, willing to sacrifice each other. Seeing other Lady Yoken and other High Summoners sacrifice themselves and Seymour speaking with his mother. Like, it was so kind of tragic and like the music was amping it up. And yet here we have this really kind of mysterious, like still solemn, but like just mysterious music that does kind of invoke this whole thing of should people just be exploring? Should they be, you know, this place has like lost some of its threat, I suppose, you know? It's, it's just ruins now. Yevon has been destroyed. Sin has been destroyed. So now it's just this mysterious relic from the past that does have treasures to be uncovered, you know? But yeah, the LeBlanc goons wouldn't dream of picking on kids. But we're definitely going to attack the literal saviour of the world, Yuna, who legitimately saved the world from sin. Yeah, we're gonna attack her because that makes sense. Oh, yeah, yeah. But look, if we didn't have adversaries, we wouldn't, you know, have a game. And, yeah, that's the weird thing, though. It's literally, like, who would ever want to oppose you? She literally saved the world. Craziness. But that's basically all the fights we have to do until we get to um, the boss fight, you know? 
And yeah, people then just throwing shade at the ruins. And then they don't recognize Yuna as well. It's like, is that Lady Yuna? No, she must be like in cosplay. That is not Lady Yuna. No way. No way, no how. In those, like, big boots? Nah. -uh. And then people buy to the, buy the treasure in the in the ruins. Um, the clue is monkey, right? Just a coincidence. But yeah, so the key is monkey, and basically, we're gonna have to just get around these monkeys to get to the real treasure, the super secret um, area that only a summoner would really know about, you know what I mean? Um, so if you go further down, uh, you see the Chamber of the Faith. And in the chamber of the faith of Lord Zayon, we have our Uncle Sid. Come to buy a clue from Uncle Sid, have you? Cleaning now with drag egg. Huh? Turning this place into a gift shop? Hello? What are you thinking, I think she said. And for 100%, we have to say, you bet I do. Well, I can't really say, but it's just not right. Huh? Oh, it's like us turning the ruins of home into a theme park. Huh? I see your point. Hmm, yeah. And that's that cutscene over. And then once that cutscene's over, we just talk to this guy here. And then the monkeys skedaddle. But, as I say, I don't think the common people of the tourists would know that, like, that's a secret magical door. Because nobody's been in here. Um, so we get a bunch of nice treasure. It's quite nice considering, like, we get to the cloister trials and it's like, oh, the kindergarten's already looted everything. So, like, that's a bit of a bummer, but we get this super nice stuff. It's, like, super, super cool. And then, once we finish collecting all of that, we move on to where we fought Lady Luna Leska and Dark Bahamas. Like, let's not forget that bad boy. Two years um. <laughs> we cast off our beliefs here. Our false hope. And like, I was really expecting you to say more, but I mean, what more is there to say, I suppose? You have done well to make it this far, Sphere Hunters. But you will not have the treasure you seek so easily. So we fight. If you want the treasure, you must speak the password. Password? The clues? Oh, I know. The password is monkey. Uh, uh, yes, good. Uh, okay, so now tell me, what is the meaning of life? What? So you have to answer Isaru. Isaru? But we get a nice uh, hey, Garmin grid out Isaru of guessing correctly. Like and it's part of 100% as well. Final answer. The jig is up! Show yourself, Isaru! Uh, fine. <laughs> um, so he tries to kill us in the Val. Tries to give us a heart attack at Xanark and he's out to get us, Yuna. I'm telling you, he's out to get you, girl. I too once traveled with the hope of seeing this place someday. Working here somehow fulfills that wish. I see. 
I must apologize for the quiz. Here's something for your trouble. Okay, thanks for coming. And remember, the ruins of Xanarkin will be waiting. Ex-summoners come in all flavors. <laughs> Apparently so. Are we done here? Mm. The sphere Oscillo Finder picked up a signal. There should still be a sphere nearby. Oh. Right! Okay, let's try this again. Restart mission mode. And we can actually go into deeper depths into Xanarkand. Although I feel like every new area is just a carbon copy of like this dungeon looking format. <laughs> so, not really that great, but what can you do? How about kick its ass? Oh, you know, you can't say it's getting old. We're just reusing boss, you know, assets. Leave it alone. And we have Yuna going to sing a little Matador song. Oh no, we're going to do up in crit rates. And now that we crit on every hit, our trigger happy is doing like, oh, nearly 100 each hit. So, tons of damage with gunner and crits, you know what I mean? Like, it's wild. <clears throat> like, as you say, one crit attack from the gun mage did 500. You're like, wow, that's loads. But, like, we did, let's say, 12 or 13 with uh, the gunner there, so... Already defeated, absolutely destroyed. And for our troubles, we get a sphere fragment. But this is where, <clears throat> you know, things get tricky because we literally get jumped straight into Kilika. Um, there's no warping away from Kilika. We just have to finish the chapter at this point. This point is the point of no return. Once you get the second what? of the two it's spheres, like I could have technically come here first. And then gone to the sage. Well, it can't hurt to take it with us. I can't believe how much this place has changed. You know, it's basically the same bar one extra dungeon. Like, let's let's keep our sense of perspective here, girl. Um, but yeah, we get an amulet, we get a sphere fragment. But then we go straight into this scene, straight to um, the next hotspot, which is Kilika. See, straight into a cutscene, straight into uh, the next mission. We're getting reports of an awesome sphere. Looks like it's already drawn quite a crowd. The reports are from Kilika Woods. I want that sphere. It's as good as ours. Let's scramble. Who is the leader? I am. I give the orders around here. We're listening. Let's go. Party. Party. So you should see 24% and then we're going to start into Kilika and as you can see we literally can't escape so we're just going to run up along because we've done all our meetings with Donna, we've done all our publicity and what we can also do is actually collect some squatter monkeys that we can then get a reward in chapter 3 which is quite cool. I wonder what this awesome sphere is like. up and someone will beat us to it sorry sorry hey wait up so 
So if we just super speed our way down the port and not run up the stairs accidentally, we make it to the Killica Woods where we get to meet the leader of the Youth League, Maven Nude. She's like addressing the people. So we finally get to see the man behind the big tent where Lucille guards all the time. Spear hunters? I don't think so. Look over there. Who's that? Nude. Maven of the Youth League, right? Greetings, friends. An important sphere is hidden in Kilika Temple, a sphere documenting the true history of Spira. We are here today to demand that New Yevon make the contents of that sphere public. Yet, as always, the voice seeking truth goes ignored. My friends, I ask you, why? Because New Yevon wants to hide the truth, just as the temples did before them. I tell you now, this has gone on long enough. My friends, stand with me, and together we will bring the truth back to the people. But let's not overdo it. Our opponents aren't as young as they used to be. <laughs> Not exactly what I had expected. Hey! That's our sphere! Oh, poopy. So what now? Call it quits? Don't know about you, but I could use an awesome sphere. Hmm. Okay. They can't decide who it belongs to. I say we make it our own. Right? Go Yuna, girl boss. I want it, I get it. So our mission is to make our way through the woods and break into Kilika Temple. Now the trick is, there's guards from New Yevon and they're basically stopping progression through the woods, through the quote unquote main paths. So we just have to ski daddle around different pads. Spears? Secrets? What's this about? Don't play dumb. We know you're guarding something. Yeah. Hey, we're here to guard our families from rebel like you. What are you talking about? What'd you say? I think it's time you left. Things are getting heated. There is definitely going to be some violence, but if you listen carefully, at certain spots you're going to hear the like chittering of monkeys. And if you collect all, see that that sound there. Once you hear that sound, press X until you find it, and then you find a squatter monkey. And if you find all the squatter monkeys where I'm about to show you, you will get a special garment grid in chapter three. And it's like super duper useful. The only thing like you can't get it in chapter two basically because after this um, situation, Kilika itself is just like blocked off. You literally can't, what's the word? You literally can't like explore it at all. And you can't even get to the lady that you spoke to, to like, you know, get the, get the garment grid or whatever. But on the left side, there's two. There's one where I first showed you. And then here is the second one. 
And what is super useful is that, like, none of the squatter monkeys are in areas that are particularly, like, sealed off or whatever. So that's quite good. Next one is just by, uh, just off the main road. By the big, uh, like, leafy kind of texture. And then one's just behind the pillar here. And then one's just by the, across from the save point, so. Like, they're not hard, it's just legitimately you wouldn't have any notion that you're meant to collect them or that that's what those sounds were or like why the sounds were there. So it is actually one of them, like I would say, completely invisible quests. Um, but you get a good reward from it, so that's quite good. If you run up here, just between the two kind of trees there, we have another one. And as I said before, this is actually the way you're meant to go. Uh, to kind of sneak up into the temple. So just before you get to the log, that's another one. And then if you just skedaddle all the way up here. And just go to the right when you kind of hit that tree. It's somewhere around here because I heard it. Just give me a second. So yeah, it's literally once Yuna steps in front. Like once she steps in front of the tree that blocks her from camera. That's where he is. Now, this is interesting you can take a look and it basically tells us passwords that are needed to get by the youth league security checkpoints and you need to do this for 100 percent so basically the options are carved monkey and craven monkey so if it's odd it is carved and if it's even, it is Craven. So they have four guards and it's even, therefore it's Craven Monkey. So the way I always thought of it was, it's carved, that's like the first option, and then if it's even, it's Craven. And you kind of have to like see that little cutscene in order to be able to get up and around to where you need to collect the last of the squatter monkeys. Which is just literally where you're meant to like look into. So you need to like look in and then wander back there just to get it. And then you can say enough already. I've already seen the, the breakdown of the explanation. And then if we skedaddle over here, we've won just on the corner of the right hand turn around for the temple. And then if we scoot ourselves down, just at that little white leafy texture on the log, that is the last of the squatter monkeys. Sorry, now it's the last of the squatter monkeys, my mistake. But that is literally all of them. And if you followed the guide, collected all those, you get a lovely Garma Grid in Chapter 3. Congratulations. Now, since you need to, like, get 100% um, here, uh, it is advised to just make a little save. Um, just to make sure you can complete the chapter 100% right. Because there's no point in getting all this way and then at the last hurdle have to, like, redo loads. So once we've made that save, we're going to approach the checkpoint. They have four people. It is an even number, so we have to go with Craven Monkey. So the first option there, and it will be the correct password, and we will be left by. But basically, we're going to go for Carved Monkey because it is odd. So, we get a high potion because we keep on guessing correctly. And here we have to give another password. It is four, so we are going to go with Craven. Again, they try and like disorientate you with like spinning the camera loads. And 
Let me barely dodge a shot. Like, give us the password. There's three, so we're going with carved. And then they try and be like super sneaky. Because then one guy comes along and he's like, oh, tell me the password one more time. And then if you're not careful, you will miss the fact that a fifth person also sneaks up just before to answer. So it is carved twice. Because there are five people there. Uh, it's all right, you can pass. And we get a turbo ether. And because we got through undetected, we get the menace of the deep d garment grid. And we're just going to quickly equip the gunner. Because if we have Yuna doing the critical dance. And then both our gunners trigger happying away. Which it's going to be super duper telling. awesome. Shut up. Just give us the sphere and we'll be on our way. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, I found the sphere. There you have it. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I had a little something prepared for just such an occasion. Nice knowing you. Oh boy. And isn't it mad that like all these ancient machina were like kept by the Yevans like people? 100% Riku, let's go. So we have Dirty Dancing, we're gonna give our girls all the criticals and they are just going to trigger happy it up. And it's all over. Achievement unlocked, baby. And they're all like, um, girl, what are you doing? And we're like, baby, it's a heist. We are taking everything. And with that, guys, chapter one is done. We have finished one of the five chapters. We are on the road to 100%. We are living and loving life. And Payne just swipes up that sphere for us. And we are on our way. Chapter one complete. Absolutely amazing. The fanfare music is amazing. And it's so funny, like, we've gone through, like, three story bosses, or two story bosses. And we've not even leveled up yet. But what is also super cool is that um, our fiends all get bonuses. So the fact that we captured a few things, they're getting, like, level ups and stuff, which is great. And we've made now 25% should be our goal percentage. We are right on track, absolutely. So, skipping no cutscenes, doing nothing else, we are gonna just let this little cutscene finish, make a save, and then I will see you guys next time for more Final Fantasy goodness. Have a good one, guys. Thank you. Just make sure you don't do anything to land us in hot water, okay? Aww. Where's the fun in being plain old regular spear hunters? Yeah, what she said! Oh no. What? Whenever Riku and brother agree, bad stuff happens. That can't be good.